What's up, y'all? Welcome to episode three of Road to Summer Shreds with me. Today, we're going to talk about cheating on your diet. I we're going to talk about what to cheat with, how to cheat, you know, appropriately, and what to eat while you're cheating. Very simple, very quick, man. That's what we talk about today. All right? Let's get to the video. Don't need a gigger on hoes. Phones, a couple of those. Design of the clothes. Ferrari goes. I'm catching bias like Bo. You see it, man. You see the comfy sheets. You see the comfy sheets today, man. You ain't got to talk about it, man. Just know I'll be sleeping like a baby, all right? That's very important for recovery, but that's not a topic for another video, man, all right? So let's get to the video for real this time. <laughs> all you're going to do is go to Google, put in calorie calculator right there, all right, and pick like three or four that you like. So right here, we have one here, right? Okay, we're gonna do some random person, not me, obviously. So we're gonna put like age, let's say 20, male, let's say he's 6'2, okay, let's say he weighs 195 or something like that, you know. Let's say his goal is to maintain. Mm, let's say he's, you know, very active. Hopefully, one of you are very active. Then I calculate. Okay, so right here, we have his calories at almost 3K. We're just going to put 295. I mean, 2950. My fault. Okay, so 2950 for the first one. Make sure you write it down somewhere so you don't forget, you know. Then we can go to the next one. Do the same thing right there. It's the next one. All right, age 20. Make it a male, obviously. Make him weigh the same amount, 195. Same height, everything, you know. 6'2. We had very active so Very active was like, you know. Let's say daily. That should be the same amount, the same. And then calculate. See, so right here, we have maintenance 3000, okay? So. I'm writing down right now for myself so I don't forget. 2950. 350. Okay, let's go to the next one. Then we're going to use. Nope. There we go. Use this one here. Okay. Put in the age 20. There we go. There you go. Age 20. Six two. You weigh about one ninety five. Then we're gonna do active. All right. Calculate. All right, right here it says again three fifty. All right. So now you have your maintenance calories. Obviously, before you use these, because we don't know for sure if that's gonna be your activity level, you're gonna to want to track your calories for at least a week. And weigh yourself every single day and then see if your weight fluctuates or if it stays around the same for the whole week okay if you're losing a little bit too much weight obviously add some calories to your to your daily calories and if you're gaining a little bit of weight obviously take some away you know common sense right but anyway let's say you finally have your calories you know sorted out okay let's use example of the one in the video let's say your main calories at 3000 okay and you're trying to cut you know trying to be on a diet Let's say you're trying to diet and be in deficit, all right? So your new calorie is going to be, let's say, around 2,700 for a day, all right? And let's imagine you're going to stay like that for six days straight, okay? So in the six days, you made a calorie deficit of around 1,800, okay? Now let's add, you know, cardio you do maybe twice a week to that. So let's add around 600 calories to that. So now you're in deficit of 2,400 for the entire week, okay? So now let's get to your seventh day. Let's imagine you go and, you know, you go crazy and you go just, just go crazy and just, you know, have a cheap day. Not even a meal, it's a cheap day. Just live lavish for the entire day, okay? Let's say you went to McDonald's. Welcome to the McDonald's nutrition calculator, okay? 
let's just make it real simple. You know, let's say, you know, let's say you got a Big Mac or double quarter pounder, maybe. Whatever you feel like. Add some more items, obviously, you know. Double quarter pounder. I know you got some little fries, you know, that get you a large fry. Why is it only a small option? Definitely large, you know, we can't do no small. Add some more items. Let's say you got yourself a nice little dessert, you know, a little shake or something. Strawberry shake. Shamrock shake. Which one do you like? Let's say strawberry shake. Obviously a large one. We're not doing nothing small over here, you know. Okay. That's even that's not even the whole meal for your party, but that's that's, that's a simple right there, okay? Very simple. Fries, a drink, and a burger. Very simple meal, okay? That comes up to about 2,000 calories right there, okay? So, right now, for, for your daily calories, you only have left around 700 calories before you're eating into your deficit. All right, so now you're done with your first cheat meal, half your McDonald's. You know, let's say you got some Haribo's. Let's say you got some Oreos. Let's say you got some popcorn. You know, add it all up, and you're left with a calorie surplus of 900 for that day which means you're not coming into your overall caloric deficit for the week by 900 so you were deficit of 2500 now you're gonna be deficit for of about 1500 after your cheat meals plus your snack okay that was only one meal so now let's say you go to subway because you want to be healthy <laughs> Hey, that's your life, no matter. All right. <laughs> so let's say you go to somewhere you try to be healthier. All right. You get you know regular what whatever they have there, and a foot long. The foot long gonna be about seven hundred calories right there, and you know you don't go somewhere without getting the cookies, man. I know how that goes, man. You know you gotta get the three cookies. I mean, I used to go. I used to get the what? I used to get the raspberry cheesecake. So put it up here somewhere. Right there, that's gonna be obviously you get three of them. So that's right there, six hundred calories right there. Plus the meal, that's 700, basically 1,300 calories right there, okay? So you went from a weekly deficit of 1,400 to now basically, you know, breaking even almost, you know? So right there, you basically ruined your entire week of work by just going crazy on a cheat day. So basically, the last week that, that happened, man. So you worked hard for six days, ate right, Eight clean for six days straight, and you have nothing to show for it. You know, some of you probably even gain weight, you know, in the total during the week by having a bad cheat day. You know, obviously because only one day you'll be able to bounce back quick because you know that's how body works. If you if you gain the weight quick, you can lose it quick. That's how it works, man. That's why people that are fat and be fat for years it's gonna take you the same amount of years to lose a fat man, like unless you're going crazy hard in the gym. You know, so it makes sense. Anyway, though, so now let's give you guys some tips on how to actually cheat so you can stay healthy, stay on target. I mean, not even healthy, just stay on target with it. You know, you can still eat your whatever, you know, but just stay on target with your goals while cheating, man. Okay? I don't know about you guys, but, man, my sweet tooth is bad. I probably have the biggest sweet tooth out of anybody in the world, man. You know, I used to, like, I used to really eat like, terrible, man. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. I, I was never, like, fat. But, like, I was definitely chubby when I was really, really younger. And then, obviously, through basketball stuff, you know, I lost a little weight. But, anyway, I still have a big sweet tooth, you know. So, if I don't eat anything sweet at least once a day, like, this going to be very, very bad for me. So, I resorted to, you know, right now I'm trying out this Jello, right? This Jello, this whole pot is about 7 calories, you know. 0.4 grams of carbs, no fat or whatever, no fat, no fat, no fat, just basically just sweet, all right? You can even make your own jello. I probably got to show you guys how to make your own jello. And if you want some sweet, like, you know, but obviously low calorie, you can try to get some stevia. Stevia really is, you know, obviously if you're not trying to care about, you know, money or budget or whatever, definitely try some stevia. Me personally, I don't need sweetness, so I don't really do that. I'd rather just eat this right here. I'd rather eat this than, you know, get some stevia. 
to put them out, whatever, you know. And then for one thing, like for me, with my oatmeal, like you know, how my oatmeal is basically my protein. That way, they helps a little because you know, protein is obviously sweet, so it makes the oatmeal sweet. So like, it kind of like helps with that too. Or how I have my Greek yogurt with my protein too and my um, pomegranate. You know, it makes the meal sweeter. You know, so I definitely have the sweet taste in my mouth, even though I don't eat something that's actually sweet. You know, that's why I like eating my protein instead of drinking it because it helps me with my, you know, sweet cravings. But if you're not, you know, a sweet craving person, but just crave like, you know, chips or whatever, I don't know what to really help you, but there's usually like low calorie, like crackers and chip option like that, for sure. I know for sure. I don't do it because I don't really crave chips like that. I rather crave like sweets than chips. But I know for sure they have like low calorie chips or for that, you can get those um, six pack pouches or 12 pack pouches where they have the small chips bags in there. So you can just eat one little bag. That's probably gonna be like around, one bag probably is like 125 calories, I would say, in those small bags. So you can try that out. Instead of, you know, buying a whole big bag, which you're gonna finish in one sitting because you know how that goes. You know, so might as well just get those 12 packs, you know, the packs for kids basically. And just eat one pack when you're craving it, or one pack a day, basically, so you can stay on track. You know, so obviously you're gonna go over your calorie goals for the day by, you know, 125, 150. You know, but if you're in a deficit of 300, yes, it's gonna be bad, obviously, but it's not gonna kill, not gonna kill your whole gains if you're eating on, you know, on a random day. You know, but now let's go to how to snack on your, on your actual cheat day, and still maintain your goals. All right, so here we go with how to stay on track on your cheat days, all right? First of all, don't have a cheat day like I told you guys in the other video. Have a cheat meal, okay? You can still be cool with a cheat meal and a little bit of snacks and you'll be fine, man. Like, listen, this whole thing, man, is literally mind over body, man. That's your first step right here. You gotta overcome your mind, man. Like, if you really think about it, you don't actually need snacks. It's just your mind telling you you crave something you are not actually crave, you know? So the first step is already realizing that you don't actually need to snack. Like, you don't actually have to snack. That's the first thing right here, you know. Yes, you worked out for six days, but if you can go for 10 days, go for 14 days, whatever, keep going, man. You don't have to snack just because it says, you know, today's my, my cheat day or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, you don't have to do that, you know. First thing in this dieting process is really overcoming your body, man. Because your body going to tell you what everyone will tell you. Um, but your mind... Should be stronger than that, man. You feel me? You should be stronger. You should be able to realize that these, you know, cravings or these um thoughts or whatever is not real. Like you don't really need that, man. You don't really need it, you know. But anyway, let's get past that. Let's say you actually do want a snack. I will never start off my cheat day with a cheat meal. Basically, asking for it to spiral into an entire cheat day, you know. So I will usually tell you guys to on your first meal on your cheat day. Get your regular meal that you eat on during the week. Then, you know, get your eggs, get your oats, get your turkey or whatever, get your chicken, whatever you eat on, in, the, in the morning or whatever, or the breakfast or the first meal of the day you eat. Make sure that's still a healthy meal, man. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is, man. It doesn't have to be what I just told you guys. It could be, you know, it could be a sandwich. It could be whatever you like to eat or a salad, whatever you like to eat, you know, in the mornings. Even the, the right kind of cereal, not the ones with all the sugar, you know, the right kind of cereal. You know, you could eat that, but eat that first. Eat the thing you usually eat on a regular day. Eat that first, okay? That's the first tip, man. And then if you move on to, you know, your snack, whatever. Mind you, usually when you eat your, your first meal and, you know, it's healthy, whatever, or eat some fruit with it, you know, you're not going to feel the craving for snacking as bad as you think you are, honestly. That's the truth right there. But if you still feel like, you know, snacking after your first meal, you probably won't. Obviously, you know, have your little snack, but then we move on to the second meal of the day. I'm assuming you guys are eating three meals a day. If you're eating five meals a day, obviously adjust for your for your meal plan, but I'm assuming you guys are eating three meals a day like I am. Okay? So, now let's say you're on your second meal. Probably right now, you probably want to cheat right there, so that's probably what's going to happen. So, you're going to cheat. You can eat what? What you going to eat that's going to cheat? Probably some lasagna. That's what I would do. I would eat lasagna. You know, very fatty. A lot of cheese, a lot of carbs, you know, some protein, obviously, some protein, obviously, because, you know, we got the beef in there, whatever. But mostly, it's really going to be some fat and some carbs. Anyway, after you're done with your zana, if you're like me, you probably will eat some sweet, you know. 
right there and there you can fix it okay get you it's, if you're not eating you know these jellos or whatever i have or mm, you know looking for the little chips pouches or whatever you like to eat you know i will tell you guys to whatever you want to eat like whatever you have here to want to eat get that and put it in a bowl okay and then get half of that and put it in a different bowl and that's what you're actually going to eat okay whatever is left in that bowl that you, they're not going to eat give it to somebody to eat somebody that doesn't care about the body give it to them to eat so it's going to be gone you're not going to throw it away because you waste money don't throw it away give it to somebody that doesn't care about the body don't care about the health and make them eat it okay <laughs> i know it sounds bad but it's the truth if it's still there you will for sure eat it i promise you so just take half or a quarter of what you were going to eat and then stack on that okay usually it's going to be about i don't know 200 calories whatever you know not too bad still then you go to your third meal and i'll tell you again eat your regular meal then just have one of those cheat meals man like i promise you this battle you're trying to battle man is is most of the time it's really just a mental thing it's not your body like it's really just a mental thing man you know if you have a strong mind, you can overcome everything. This is this is bigger than just fitness, or whatever. This is bigger than like this is life, man. Like, if you let your mental, like your mind, tell you what you want to, want to tell you, you know, or give into it every single time, man, you're not gonna be able to really prosper, man. And that's just a fact, you know. You should realize that these things, these thoughts, these cravings, they're not real, and you don't want to. They're basically stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve because you're letting them get to you every single time. All right. Yes, it's okay to snack in there. Yes, it's okay to, you know, you know, worry yourself with a snack once in a while, you know, but it can be your daily routine, your daily habit to just be snacking, man. Like, if you're snacking, man, you should be picking your spots. Like, you know, let's say you have a goal of losing, you know, 10 kg this year or whatever, or 20 kg, whatever your goal is, you know. Make a thing where, you know, after every kg you lose, you know, you have a little cheat day or... Or you won't cheat until, you know, a certain date. Or you will cheat every, you know, 10 days. Make it a realistic thing that you can stick to and then stick to it. And on the day you cheat, man, think about the, all your work you put in, man. You don't want to lose all the work you put in over the last months by messing up because you have one bad day, man. Okay? Obviously, the longer you actually stick to your diet, the more crazy you can go on your actual cheat day. So that should actually encourage you to... You know, stay your diet for longer. All right. So for example, if you have, if you stay consistent with your diet for like, let's say, two weeks straight, you know, you made a deficit for so much, you probably can't even make up the deficit in one day, man. It's not possible most of the times. So you can actually have a real, like a real cheat day, you know. So that's what I would tell you guys. I would try you guys to try to cheat, like, try to stay at point, stay stay on diet for as long as possible, so that on the day that you do cheat, you can actually cheat. You feel me? As I would say. Don't make a thing where you have a cheat day every week, no matter what you did. Like, <laughs> no matter if you did good as week or not, you have a cheat day. Like, it's terrible, man. You got to earn these things, man. Like, you got to earn these things. Don't just be getting things because you think you deserve it all. Yes, I spend uh, Sunday. It's time to have a cheat. Like, that's how it works, man. That's how it works. Like I said again, man, set yourself realistic goals. You know, you cheat every this and this and so if you did this and this. You know, I'll cheat in 10 days if I suck to my diet for 10 days straight. I'll cheat if I reach this amount of, you know, body fat. I'll cheat if I reach this amount of weight, you know. Set yourself realistic goals, and then once you get to those goals, then you can, you know, cheat and have a good cheat, man, you know. All right? This, you know, this is funny because literally just yesterday I was in, in the store. One of, my, one of my friends was like, uh, he saw me like buy some, you know, buy some snacks. And then he asked me, like, oh, how come you can, you know, how come you do these videos and you, you still snacking? And I told him, like, man, like, <laughs> we all human beings, but, like, I'm going to definitely still snack, but, like, I'm not going to just snack to snack, man. Like, it's a thing where it's, like, I have to have certain things happen in my life for me to be like, all right, I'm going to snack. So me, for example, if I don't cheat on my diet for at least 10 days, that's where I know. I, I can have a little cheat thing. You know, I might have going bears. Yesterday, right here, I had right here, man. I had some chips right there, you see? Like I said, even though I'm not really a big chips person, I still had chips, you know. 
it just depends on the mood I, I'm in, really. But the point is, I did this because I already knew I earned that, you know. Don't just be snacking, you know. Don't just be eating things, you know, randomly because you think, ah, I need it. You really need it, man. It's just you want it. Yeah, obviously you want it, but you can't give it to your wants, man. Like, if you want to get to your goals, man, you can't give it to your wants, man. Your wants will always be there. You're always going to want something you can't have. You got to really lock into what you want and what's more important than that. That's really the goal here. Don't let no excuse be big enough than your goals, man. That's that's a bad way to live, man. You know, always be stronger than that, man. You feel me? Your mind be trying to finesse you. Don't let your mind finesse you, man. You know, you're stronger than that. You're better than that. All right? That's it for the day, really, man. That's it for episode three. You know, yes, she's comfy as shit. <laughs> I'm about to take a nap. I can't even lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm about to take a nap, bro. What time is it, man? This is like four. I'm about to take a little quick one hour nap. I'm not going to after this video. But yeah, that's it for this episode, man. I'll catch you guys next time, man. All right? Stay fit. Stay sexy, man. If you made this far, obviously, man. Welcome to the Real Ones Club. Listen, I got a surprise for you guys very, very soon. Okay? Make sure you leave a comment. Today, we're going to say... What are we going to say today, man? We're going to say gummy bears. <laughs> all right? For no reason at all, man. All right? Comment gummy bears in the comments so we know who the rumors are. You feel me? All right? But yeah, that's it, man. If you, thank you for watching. Obviously, tell your friends to tell your friends. To tell a friend, to tell a friend, man. You feel me? Get the word out. That's all I'm telling you guys, man. If you watch this video right now, subscribe, like, and obviously, like I can say it again, man. Share with your friends, man. If you have a friend who wants to improve the diet, or you know, wants to get better in the gym, or wants to gain muscle, you know, definitely, you know, send them my way, man. And we get, like, don't be, don't be selfish, man. Like, don't just find me, and then don't share with your friend, man. We want all these goals, we want all these gains. You feel me? Don't be selfish. Share myself, share my videos with your friends, so they can get. Get these games too, you know, improve your life too, man. You feel me? Don't be stingy, man. Don't be stingy at all, man. Go ahead and share this with your friends. Tell them about me. You know, make them watch the videos. And subscribe, man. Alright? That's it, man. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys.